All right, let's go for another drive. This is Daniel Romero from Alteza. Find me at YouTube at Alteza The Collective. Please share this video with any restaurant or business owner from the food industry that you know. Um, I love sharing ideas. I hope I do more. Uh, so today, right now, I'd like to talk to you guys about the delivery services. Something that's been brewing in my mind and I have a few things that I'd like to share. Um, and quite frankly, I'd like to know what you think. <clears throat> so please comment, send me any messages if you want to know any more information or any way that we can help, Alteza. So regarding the uh, delivery services, so like Dur DoorDash and uh, Uber Eats and restaurant to go and all those great places, you know, those businesses, those apps. It's a really good platform, something that you can really expand your clientele. But we all know in the industry that you have to give up a pretty big chunk of all these, the sales. So it's somewhere between 20 to 30% depending on, um, on the deal and the app. Um, again, it's really cool. You can make some extra money that way, especially right now with the whole coronavirus. But um, something that, that I've been really curious um, about and I think this is the, the fastest way for me to share and, and request information. Anybody that knows me um, uh, regarding um, your business, reach out to me if you can, send me a message. I, I would really like to know um, or even comment. But what I'm trying to get to is uh, uh, that 20 30 percent right now that there are people that are jobless in the industry, which is our all of our main concern, not just our own concern about you know we're running out of cash um, we're you know a lot of businesses are struggling and waiting to see what happens uh, but while we wait the people that are in dire need are our staff so I don't own a restaurant I don't own a bar but as an equipment supplier consultant designer all that fun stuff um, I'm I'm assuming that the easiest thing to do is to actually tap into your own customer base um, some of you already have some some uh, following on Facebook and and all so social medias um, and you have contacts to reach out to and what I'm curious to know is how many businesses are actually that are still operating how many are actually doing these delivery services directly to the customers so I'm assuming that you have a small radius um, of good amount of customers that are frequent you know uh, repeat customers and from there you can grow and instead of coughing up the 20 30 percent of the income to uh, these third parties why wouldn't you just conduct the deliveries on your own and the to, to go so you start announcing you know your limited menu for the day and you provide that extra income to another staff member or a few more depending on how you administrate it I'm just curious like is that happening because on the consumer side most of you watching and listening it's really cool right now because you ha you get uh, no delivery fee which is a really cool uh, thing for all these third parties to do and I'm not knocking on them at all but right now that we're really cautious of all the money that can come in and especially all the money that's going out um, why wouldn't you just uh, do the same thing? Let's think about it. They are capitalizing on another hidden gem. Speaking of hidden gems. So the thing right now is that a lot of people are depending on, on to-go's and delivery. Most people. And so what they are capitalizing on is saying, hey, you know what? Forget it. No delivery fee. Sign up and uh, let us you know, provide. They're still making money. And let's not forget a topic that I would really like to elaborate on on a longer episode um, or an actual episode at The Collective, Alteza The Collective, is uh, uh, data. So we know now that uh, there are a lot of you know people that share videos and, and content explaining how data is actually worth more than gold, worth more than oil. It's, it's, it's the resource and it's basically us and our information. I don't have anything against that at all. I actually really like it because you can actually use that to your benefit and it's a trade-off. Yeah, there's a lot of things to debate about that, comment about that. Um, I'd like to know what your opinion is because we will have an episode about that. 
But in the meantime, all they're really capitalizing on is this valuable data from all of us consumers when we actually order stuff to go. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, price up front, free. But what's the trade-off? We're giving up the data. Now, as a business owner, why aren't we capitalizing on that? They're not sharing that with us. As far as I know, you can't get the entire spectrum of, of the data. So if you guys were able to just find an app, I haven't bothered to ch check because, you know, again, my part of the industry is I am a purveyor for you guys. But I am not the one that's cooking up and delivering to the end user, the consumer. So um, I'm sure that there are some apps that you can use, some platform that you can take full control of your deliveries and, and operate that way. And if there isn't, it's as simple as old school times, you know, pizza delivery and all those things. If you have a hostess or, or you know, a server, dishwasher, things like that, that, you know, you can't really afford to, to give them a job, there is work to actually provide. There is a job for them to do. There's, there's income. And that income is that 20, 30% that you would be paying all those people. And as the business owner, what you will get in return is actually compiling the data of all of the customers that you would be getting during this whole stay at home. And then from there, you would be able to use that so you can market to them. In the near future, you know, everything gets lifted. We go back to a norm, a new norm, and you might want to continue doing the delivery services. Obviously, check with your insur insurance provider to see what's up with the drivers and everything like that. For urban areas, of course, you know, people can walk over to homes um, and then bicycles and stuff like that. We can provide the equipment and information, but you're the one that would have to control everything to your best benefit. And what it is, is gathering that data. Right now, you can capitalize. This is a hidden gem, and I really hope that people are doing it. Share it. Um, let's try to make more jobs during this hard time, especially, let's be upfront. There is a huge group of, of uh, employees in the industry that are undocumented. And all of this paycheck stuff and all of this is not gonna help them. As far as I can figure out, um, it's, it's, it's not going to be able to help them. The business owners have to be able to provide, if they care enough, to provide to them. I see a lot of uh, Facebook, um, you know, um, requesting uh, money like GoFundMe so you can help out. But why not do a better trade-off? Why not do what you guys do best, which is make some delicious food that now can be to-go and delivery. All these places that are deciding not to open, why not give the, your staff the opportunity to be a little bit more uh, daring and give them the chance to generate their own income? And, and you know, you have the commercial kitchen. It's just sitting there if it's not open. And the ones that are open, why not venture into the idea of doing it 24-7? Or, you know, different shifts for different, uh, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Maybe some munchy nights uh, time. You know, there's some night owls out there that would really like to do that. And uh, there are people that really depend. There's a lot of businesses that are shutting down like at 9 o'clock, uh, 10 p.m. And it sucks for night owls like me. Of course, we can all cook up, but let's not forget the thing that I mentioned in another video, that uh, there are a lot of people that cannot cook for themselves, whether it's they're sharing a home where it's uncomfortable or not possible to be able to use a kitchen at a certain hour. Um, there's also you know, uh, places where you have a, a commissary kitchen, like a, a common area uh, in the apartment complex. And I don't know what the rules are right now with that, but that must suck. And then you know, dorms, if, if there's people still living in them right now when school is shut down. And then let's not forget about the most important, important demographic, which is the elderly and the handicapped. So people that are not physically able to cook for themselves, you guys are in dire need. This is probably one of the main reasons that you are an essential business, hence the workers an essential worker. And again, right now, Everybody's waiting for stimulus money. Everybody's doing this and that, but why wait? If you guys have the entire thing in your hands, you have full control of being able to generate income for the people that you care the most about, I hope. And that's basically it for right now. Data. Let's talk about data. Because these third parties are capitalizing. They're taking over all this 
amazing amount of data. And it's yours. It's supposed to be yours. So let's do something about it. Thanks for driving with me.